GW Commenter, thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe. Comment, like, subscribe, come back over and over again, see these great authors, artists, creators of all kinds, and don't forget to check out the description down below for more information about our guests and our partners. We are at Beach Babes Book Blast 2016 in Tampa, Florida, and we are here hanging with Tamara, Tamara Lush. Tamara Lush, the author of Tell Me a Story. We have that right here, Tell Me a Story, okay? So, let's start with Tell Me a Story. Tell us a little bit about, tell, tell us a story. I'll tell you a story. <laughs> tell Me a Story is set in Florida. It is in Orlando, and it's about a bookstore owner named Emma, and she meets a billionaire at a literary event, and she reads him a story. See that? It's, it's all right there. That's the simple version, though. This is... Let me see this one. This is, this is, she reads him a long story. It's going to be good. So get in there. Check it out, folks. Tell me a story. So uh, how are readers responding to tell me a story? Readers are responding very, very well. So, well, that's because everybody likes it when people tell them a story. <laughs> right? So uh, reviews coming in? Reviews are coming in. It actually was Feeling number good? one in erotica in the UK. In She's Australia. really telling them a story, and guys. In Canada last weekend. Awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, congratulations on that. Um, how did you get started in writing? We talked a little off camera. I know that you are a journalist, so. I am. Uh, I'm a journalist with the Associated Press for my day job. I cover very serious news and very awful news. Generally, if you see me on your doorstep, it's probably not a good thing in my day job. Ah. Uh, but I also have loved romance novels since I was a teenager. So I decided to write one. I've always wanted to write one, and I decided to write one. And my first two novels were contracted with a small publisher, Girls Publishing Group. And okay. this is my first indie published ever. Awesome. Well, welcome to the indie publishing world. It is, it is. The art and entertainment paradigm is shifting more and more every day. And for creators and writers and artists, it is a... It's just it's overwhelming the opportunities that are available uh, that weren't available when we were in school. Exactly, that's very true. I being an indie author is so exciting. Picking, helping create the cover. I love creating, helping create, and picking the cover designer, choosing a content editor, choosing a copy editor. I try to follow a traditional publishing model when it comes to the quality of my books. Well, and that's what you do, right? You you look at the, what has worked for them for so long. And th what has changed is that they've given us the printing press, and they've also, but we have to do the business every day. And what was making the transition from journalism to fiction writing? How was that for you? Was it difficult? Was it easy? Uh, I actually make the transition every night when I go home and I begin writing fiction because I'm still a journalist. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, work full time as a correspondent for the Associated Press, and then I go home and then I try to write. Kind of flip that switch, days. right? Flip the switch. Flip the switch right after dinner. I start writing. It's actually this wonderful creative outlet where I can write stories that end happen. Wow. Well, the good news is is that because we are not a serious news program, we are a web show. So we get to ask some kind of really, really silly questions because we go out to social media and we find out what people are asking each other. This is not my fault. This is what people ask people on Twitter and Facebook and those kinds of places. So I look up here and I, they pick a random quest card. Have you ever danced in the rain or paid in, played in puddles as an adult? I have. Aha. Uh -huh. In North Carolina. In North Carolina? Yes. Okay. With my husband. With your husband. Absolutely. Dancing in the rain is, that's a group exercise, people. Get, you get your fun on. Bring somebody that you care about. So tell us. What is Tamara's most embarrassing moment? Uh-huh. I'm like Barbara Walters now. I have far too many to even reveal. <laughs> Y'all thought you
thought you were going to get the answer to that and then go home and every time you saw her name and the byline, you were going to go, oh, I know something. You're not going to get the answer to that. Describe for us the ultimate Sunday. Ooh, you know, I'm pretty traditional. I really like the banana okay. and the vanilla chocolate with cream okay. and a cherry on top. You know, with your day job, you're writing and you're putting together the news all day. You come home, you're writing all night trying to get those words on paper for the readers. What is the ultimate midnight snack? Ooh, the ultimate midnight snack. What's going to keep you writing all through the night? Wine. <laughs> it's not a stereotype. Yes, that's what we do. There's a keyboard, an ashtray, a glass. It's all, it's, it's like Hemingway. Really, it is it, like Hemingway. It's a party. Yeah, yeah it it's, it's what we do, folks. It is. So we got the wine glass up there. Are you a the glass is half glass is half empty, glass is half full, or just bring me the glass kind just of gal? Bring me the glass. My last name is Lodge. So. And I have to say, my critique partner and I, Cat Fetour, who's a wonderful writer by the way, uh, we always joke that we write about cocktail romances. All of our romances have these wildly fantastical billionaires, and everybody's drinking cocktails and having sexy times on terraces. So it's like a daytime soap opera. Kind of. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, and you know what? Those have been popular for 50 years, so you got to be doing great. All right. So if you were a box of cereal, what would you be? Cocoa Pebbles. Cocoa Pebbles. Fun. Little. I like the fact that they do the rice krispies. They make the they rice krispies sound. Yeah. And it's so tasty. Yeah, and it well, it's chocolate. Yeah, you can't. Exactly. You know. She writes lusty books and chocolate. Is it? You'll find out on the World Wide Web. Google it, people. Um, okay, so the royalties start coming in. Mm -hmm. What is your shopping weakness? Ooh, tra travel, travel, travel. Travel. Oh, my. As a journalist, do you get to travel a lot? Um, a fair bit. Mostly around Florida, but sometimes around the South. Uh, occasionally elsewhere. My husband and I went to Iceland this year. Awesome. Yeah. Favorite or, or would-be favorite destination? Where do you want to go? Or, or have been that just kind of stands out. Uh, Iceland is pretty amazing. Where we'd like to go would be Japan. Amazing. My son spent a year in Japan and said it was fantastic. So, okay. So, are you working on anything right now? Um, I'm working on sort of the epilogue, uh, a secondary character. He gets his happily ever after. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So, there's more to. There's one more episode. This is a five episode serial novel in ebook form. Okay. This is the full series in print form, which comes out November 14th. But the fantastic. final episode, the sixth episode, which is kind of like I said, an epilogue, will be out in the middle of January. Awesome. We'll be looking for that. And we're going to put the links down in the description to the ebooks. Uh, we're also uh, going to put a link on there over to the Amazon so when this comes out, you can get the, the, the full set and uh, take a look at it. So where can we find you up the road? Are you book signings and events? Where are you going to be? Uh, book signings, I'll probably be at RT and probably RWA as well. Okay. Um, in Orlando and some others in Florida in 2017. Fantastic. That's where you can find her up the road, guys. Get a copy of the paperback, get a copy of the ebook. book it by, have it signed. Meet the author, Tamara Lush, author of Tell Me a Story. Uh, and uh, tell her your story. May, hey, maybe you're newsworthy. You don't know. Could be. Uh, to recap, tell me a story. Tell me a story. Okay, that's kind of self-explanatory, folks. With an, a romantic twist. You do the math. She's going to tell him a story. Billionaire a story. She's going to tell a billionaire. Tell a billionaire billionaires need to be told stories, too. Uh, as we wrap it up, we want to say a special thanks to our friends at the Florida Book News, uh, Wordfire Press, Space Coast Comics, Famous Faces and Funnies, Something Unique Magazine, and our great friends at the Historical Miniature Gaming Society South for sharing these videos all over the World Wide Web, helping to introduce the internet to some fantastic authors, artists, and creators of all kinds. I'm GW Palmature. We've been hanging with Tamara Lush, and she's the author of Tell Me a Story. Remember, subscribe, log on, tune in, and Wow.